you see here is a damaged cab wiring harness out of a wheel loader. All the requirements of a harness can be seen. All those wires are centralized for routing to other parts of the machine. They are organized in a way that each wire comes out of the harness close to the component it is supposed to connect to. The plastic shielding helps protect all the wires from debris and abrasion. There are insulated mounting straps that hold the harness in place and prevent movement that might cause abrasion. There's a foam bulkhead protector to ease the harness through some sheet metal. Electrical tape is used to close the plastic harness sleeve. Wire ties are used to reinforce the tape in strategic areas. Multiple types of couplers are used. All the wiring is color coded and each harness coupler is tagged with a code that identifies it. Study the harness on the floor and you can see the amount of engineering that went into the design. If you start at the fuse blocks, you'll also see plenty of connectors associated with relays. These would likely be mounted on one side of or to the back of the operator's seat. Follow the harness back and you run into a leg dropping off. There is a single thick red wire that logically might be the power supply. You will also see a black wire with a ring terminal that is probably a ground wire for the cab. Follow the wires further back and you can find a switch connected to a harness. There are other connections with blanks It might be for switches that were not installed in this machine. One could assume this part of the harness will go to a console on the other side of the seat or up into the overhead in the cab. This is a good example of what you might see in a wheel loader. But keep in mind that all manufacturers have their own way of building wiring harnesses and even this manufacturer may do it different between model sizes and different manufacturer dates. Harness couplers are used to join one or more wires in a harness to a component or to another harness. Harness couplers are plastic or metal structures in which wires with male or female terminal ends are held in a specified place. One harness coupler will fit into another coupler with one egg being male, many times called a plug, and the other being female and referred to as a socket. All the harness couplers have a locking method that involves putting force against a latch or unscrewing a locking collar and then pulling the coupler apart. Each receptacle in a harness coupler has a pin location and each pin location has something that identifies it by number or letter code. Some couplers have the numbers embossed on the face of the coupler. Other manufacturers provide the key to the locations in a service manual or wiring schematic. As you can see here, there are multiple types of harness couplers being used. Each model of harness coupler uses its own type of wire connection terminal. Those wire terminal ends can be spade connectors, round or square pin couplers. Even if the shape looks the same, the sizes can be different between manufacturers. The terminal ends can be open barrel or closed barrel and all are crimped to the wire. The inside of each coupler has some type of latch that snaps over a spot on the wire terminal and holds it in the harness. The coupler has provision to use some type of tool to pick the latch and be able to remove each wire from the coupler. The wire inlet end of each harness coupler usually has some provision for some type of pliable seal to keep air and water out of the joint. Many types of seals are single and are crimped onto the wire terminal and pulled into the harness coupler as the wire is inserted. Some are one piece that cover all the wires going into the harness connector. To summarize our process to this point, we have wires usually made of copper but can also be made of aluminum. The capacity of a wire to carry power depends on the size and number of wire strands. Wires are covered with insulation that keeps power within the wire. Insulation usually carries some type of coating whether by color, numbers, letters, or a combination of each to identify what that wire connects to. We have a method for joining wires together or for connecting wires to components. We can have multiple wires wrapped in some type of cover material known as a harness with manufactured couplers on each end. 
the harness couplers will have some method for individual wires to be attached in specific locations in the coupler. We've seen that there are different types of couplers with different types of terminals used to connect them to the wires. In the next video, we'll look at various components likely to be used in heavy equipment electrical systems. Thank you for watching.